Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reads, and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. All right, y'all already know this will be general, so take what resonates, and if it is not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? If you need a personal reading of information, it's down below in the description box, all right? And thank you guys once again for all of the likes and comments and all of that good stuff donations to the channel i appreciate y'all i love y'all like give me some girl give me some oh, i just love y'all so anyways let's go ahead and tap in and let's see what spirit got for y'all all right it's friday it's gonna be a great fucking weekend like i'm feeling so like energetically good you know what i mean so i hope y'all can feel the vibes all right Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? What do you have for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? Alright. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? Alright, so we have switched up here. 111. Uh, one eleven. Okay, as soon as I pulled that card out. So you could be saying one eleven or you might need to look that number up, like 111 angel number or something like that, and it may give you a specific message, all right? But with this switched up coming out here, I feel like, honestly, this is your energy, Divine Feminine. I feel like things have shifted. Some sort of energy shift has happened where you could be realizing, like, wait a minute, I'm not you beautiful Divine Feminine, like, <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. So there's definitely been, like, a switch up in the energy is what I'm getting, all right? All right, Spirit, what else do you have for my beautiful Divine Feminist? Okay, it's a card on the floor, and it's a card right here in front of me. Let me take this one first. So I'm trying to move forward is here, okay? And I definitely feel like this is you, Divine Feminine. Um, for some reason, um, there could have been a situation, you know what I'm saying, or a scenario where you just felt like, at this moment in time, you need to move forward with your life, two, two, two. And not saying that you don't wanna be with your um, divine masculine or your specific person, but you just feel like it's time to focus on yourself. You get what I'm saying? That's why I said there was a switch up in the energy, whoever you are, and you're also trying to like move forward to focus more on yourself, your goals. You could be working on your health, um, the way you eat, the way you look, whatever. But there's definitely been like a shift, okay? Um, we also have I believe in you here and I feel like this is you talking to yourself like talking to your higher self like I believe in you you can do this for whoever you are you could be like doing like a lot of affirmations lately um, you could be journaling a lot or really just trying to shift your mindset to believe more in yourself building your confidence up and really just trying to make a huge transformation okay and be doing a good job. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what else? For my beautiful divine feminine. So, oh, we got, I'm going to marry you one day here. All right. So whatever you're doing, divine feminine, it's making this person want to marry you. And I'm also hearing like, for whoever you are, you could have walked away from this person and that's what makes them want you even more. Okay. This person is like, I'm going to marry you one day. Like, or at least this is what they're thinking. Okay. All right, Spirit, what else for my beautiful Divine Feminine Spirit? What else? Your ancestors got your back, all right? So whatever it is you're doing right now, everything is going to work out in your favor. Just know that strings are being pulled, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So, for instance, if certain things are happening in the 3D and you kind of don't see how things are gonna happen, just know like in the 5D is already taken care of, your ancestors got your back, God got your back, and everything is gonna work out in your favor, okay? All right, Spirit, what else? No one can stop you, I told you, 111. Whoever you are, you could definitely be seeing 111 a lot, or like I said, this there's a message coming in for you, from you, like your spirit guides, your ancestors, your guardian angels, no one can stop you no one that's why i say it doesn't matter what it looks like on the 3d just knowing the 5d things are already like it's already done all right all right spirit 
what else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine spirit what else what else what else hold on y'all two cards just flew on the floor all right so we have the worst part is over okay and honestly you guys that's why i said like before um no one can stop you your ancestors got your back the worst part is over you could have went through some sort of hard times or just some sort of um transitions or something like that but the hard part is literally over you don't have to keep struggling cycles are closing out you're breaking generational curses and it's happening now okay we also have take me as i am and whoever you are it's like you've kind of learned to accept yourself fully unapologetically it's like you're learning things about yourself 555 on the clock you're learning to love yourself more you're learning to embrace yourself and it's like take me as i am or you can move you know what i mean it's like you're not trying to change yourself to be with anybody and that's a beautiful and very confident place to be at right now all right spirit what else for my beautiful to my feminines let's build a bond is here and what i'm getting is with this someone wants to build trust between you two because for some reason you can have trust issues and this person can have trust issues also so it's kind of like they want to build this bond together but i feel like it's definitely after you have switched up your energy okay all right spirit what else for my beautiful divine feminines whatever i'm getting is it's like you don't want to get hurt and whoever this person is they don't want to get hurt either someone is manifesting you okay so while you're trying to move forward there's still someone trying to hang on to your energy so you're not oh my gosh girl these folks almost just hit these people <laughs> oh my god <laughs> girl i cannot girl that buick almost just hit that bmw just imagine bitch like anyways um someone is manifesting you so whoever you are what i'm getting is like you could have been tired of waiting on this person or you know waiting for this person to get their shit together or you know to make things right or whatever so you try to move forward but you're still energetically picking up on them you know what i'm saying like in the 5d you could still be thinking about them you could like be hearing certain songs that remind you of them just anything to make you feel their energy you know what i mean and this person is still holding on to you because they're still manifesting you okay all right spirit what else you are my soulmate that's why <laughs> this person feels like you're their soulmate okay and like i said i feel like it's because whoever you are no one has ever walked away from this person and it made them want to be with you even more it made them want to love you even more and i also feel like they tried to move forward and they can't move forward either it's like you guys are energetically still connected okay all right spirit what else i can't get you off of my mind okay i'm gonna marry you one day this is all this person is thinking about is you being like their wife or their husband you guys being together and then we also have good vibes only, all right? And with this coming out, this is letting me know to tell you, like, stay focused on keeping your energy in a high vibration. Do not let nobody mess up your day, mess up your energy, mess up your aura, okay? Try to maintain those high vibing vibrations as long as you can. And if not, take you a nap or like go sit down, chill somewhere, like do what you gotta do, but definitely try to maintain your good vibes. All right, what else, Spirit? So we have, I'll meet you halfway here, okay? I'll meet you halfway. And honestly, I feel like this is God, okay? Coming through, letting you know, like I see you doing your part. So I'm gonna meet you halfway in the middle. Cause it's like, you can have faith, but whoever you are, you've been taking inspired action. You've really been pushing yourself to like go for your dreams, to like go for what it is that you want. And it's been hard for you to do that. And God sees you doing that, okay? And it's not in vain. It's not like um, a waste of your time, a waste of your energy. Even if it doesn't seem like it right now in the 3D, just know that God is meeting you halfway, all right? 
pair of oats for my beautiful divine feminine spirit. All right, so we have not talking, okay. Also 1010 was on the clock. So for some of you guys, with the worst part is over, um, some of you guys could have went through a separation with someone um, where you guys weren't communicating, where you guys weren't seeing each other or whatever. This part is over or is coming to an end within you guys' connection, okay? Whoever it is that wasn't talking before or was trying to like shut you out, all of a sudden, they're going to want to see you. All of a sudden, they're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to meet up. All of this stuff, girl. It's going to be crazy. I'm telling you. <sighs> I'm telling you. All right. And right here, we have glowing. Okay. So this is definitely you, Divine Feminine. And huh, this is beautiful because with this coming up under Take Me As I Am, like I said, you've chosen to accept yourself for who you are like what other people may see as flaws you look at it as your like true beauty marks like you know what I'm saying like you know what you've been through and I feel like it's taken a lot for you to regain this confidence within yourself 11 11 so you're glowing and people can see it all around you and they can feel it also so it's a very very beautiful thing we also have <laughs> hold on y'all <laughs> We also have over everything and everybody. So I feel like at this point in time also, you could be like cutting certain things off, cutting certain people off that just are not helping you elevate and grow to the highest version of who you are. And that's okay. You know what I mean? Like anybody that's holding you back or whatever is holding you back, it has to go, you know? We also have wrong impression, okay? And I feel like this could be not just one per person in particular, but a lot of people around you could have gotten the wrong impression about you, um, thinking that they know you, but they don't, thinking that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you were being judged. That's what I'm getting. So it's kind of like people were just talking, like judging you, throwing dirt on your name or whatever, but it, they got the wrong impression because that's not who you are. And I feel like now that you are standing in your power, um, you could also be walking alone as well, doing things by yourself. It's just you and God on this journey. And that's okay. All right. Spirit, what else? So we have, you can leave here. And that's why I said before, um, with you trying to move forward, you're, you're letting anybody know and anything you can leave you can go there's a door like do you need me to walk you over there like <laughs> do you need me to open it for you because you can leave you know what i'm saying because you're trying to move forward to prosperity you're trying to grow you're trying to evolve you're not trying to stay stagnant like we only got a couple more months left of 2023 and you could be looking back like okay what have i done thus far have i grown you know what i'm saying have i healed or am I still doing the same things I was doing last year? And a lot of you guys are just like not playing no games. It's like cutthroat season. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I see something. I see power couple right here. Okay. And with this, I'm going to marry you one day. You guys do have potential to become a power couple. Okay. With this person. And honestly, it's because you guys are mirroring each other's energy. And they are also healing and evolving into their divine masculine energy as well okay all right spirit anything else for my beautiful divine feminines anything else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit all right so we have family here okay and we also have there is no one like you and with this coming out that's also letting me know this person views you as someone they've never like encountered before. Like this type of energy you exude and give to this person, they like, man, I'm not gonna ever find that anywhere else. And they're not because you're the true beautiful divine feminine, okay? Not only that with this family card coming out um, and I'm gonna marry you one day, this person sees you guys having a family together, you guys been a power couple building together or whatever. But honestly, right now, Divine Feminine, that decision is totally up to you because you have um, really stepped into your power and really stepped into your Divine Feminine energy where it's like you're attracting all of these things to you, but it's like now you get to make the decision on what you wanna choose off of the buffet. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm, do I want shrimps or do I want lobsters? <laughs> 
<laughs> anyways that's what i got for y'all y'all already know what to do for resonating hit that thumbs up button so we can get out there to more beautiful to my feminines so we can keep healing growing and glowing and i will see y'all in my next one god bless mm -hmm.